Hey guys, Silent Seo here. Welcome to a very special unboxing video with me. As you can see, I'm leaning on a very large package. Uh, if you guys probably can guess what it is, uh, it has something to do with one of my channel's main, um, or rather sub, <laughs> uh, series that I handle. Uh, if you guys know I'm a big fan of Kingdom Hearts, you've probably seen me do a video talking about the Kingdom Hearts uh, Orchestra World Tour. Um, that was in Singapore in the past, right? So, actually, I was planning to do this video before they released info on Kingdom Hearts 3. Um, that was at an event in Japan uh, for E3. So, <laughs> most of the fans probably will have known that this thing, this baby, uh, has been released for some time now. I actually had this in my house for almost two weeks. Uh, just that I have been too busy. I haven't really found the time to do an unboxing video of this. Uh, so yeah, let's get down to it and let me just show you guys how huge this thing is. So <laughs> just from the camera alone, you can see like this thing is very big. Uh, from the side, you can probably tell what it is already. Let me just go in. Yeah, you can see that it says Keyblade uh, Key Cha Kingdom Chain. So yeah, it's the Proplica uh, Kingdom Key. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to do an unboxing of this thing because uh, a lot of people are probably wondering how is the quality really really like um, in the um, frontal perspective I guess. We've seen the trailers for the Keyblade um, that has been done by Square Enix itself but you know how is it really really like in terms of a fan uh, of Kingdom Hearts uh, holding on to it. So let's take a look at this thing. Yeah. Okay, so within a box, there was another box. So actually, this before this big brown box that I showed you first, it was actually in another brown box. So it's like three boxes all together. So it's like box section. Uh. So anyway, it's nicely wrapped. Um, as always, like the Japanese always do, they always wrap their stuff very nicely. So let's tear open this paper. We don't need it. Yeah, there we go. So the main thing is we want to see the actual main box that the keyway is packed in. I'm gonna pop this aside. Alright. Alright, here we go. So this is the box that the care comes in. Um, I'm holding it upside down on but Yeah, so here we go. Look, even the key blade on the box design is shiny. Uh, let me just show you guys. It's shiny. There you go. Yeah, you can see it shine. So it says that Keyblade Kingdom Chain. Yeah, Proplica. So at the back of the box, I feel like I'm like, like some signboard advertiser in front of a shop, like rolling. <laughs> Alright, so as you can see, like in the trailer of the advertisement for the Proplica Keyblade, you can have the Keyblade light up accordingly to whatever spell you are using. But, you know, uh, it's probably just going to be a prop on my wall, an official one-to-one -one scale prop <laughs> uh, released. So, yeah, so details here and of course you can see that this keyblade can actually um, shine a keyhole from the front of the keyblade, you know, like a torchlight, you know. But I have a feeling the brightness of the box isn't as br uh, bright as it should be. You know, to actually show the full image. So maybe some modification of the bulb has to be done to show you guys uh, how how bright or how a well-lit really keyhole. You know, uh, if you really really want to experience the whole Sora effect in Kingdom Hearts One. So, all right. So the box itself is pretty nice. You know, it has like words and the Keyblade designs at the sides. So, we're gonna open this up. Yeah, let's see. We're gonna pop this open. So it has like three jutting, uh, what do you call it, holes to hold the box in. So let's open this up. As you can see straight away, the kingdom key is here. Yeah, it's held down by plastic. So let me just pull this out. So 
So all I have to do is just pull it out from the box. This is the keyblade itself. So it's nicely packed by plastic so it can protect the, the keyblade from being damaged. Um, there seems to be a stand here. Um, it's like in the shape of the Kingdom Hearts logo. You can see. I think they, I think it's a stand. So yeah, you can actually see that there's like Mickey Mouse logo. So probably this is what you plug into. This into. You plug that into this. And it becomes a stand. Just like the, um, the Kingdom Key Orchestra Keyblade. So, but just that this is a one-to-one -one scale Keyblade that Sora will use. Um, well, if he was a real life character. Uh, yeah, so let's pop this open. So, pretty well sealed this squash tape here as well. So, I'm gonna cut that open. Alright, same for the other side. No, I'm, I'm just, just gripping just gripping the center portion of the keyblade. Uh, I noticed something. Um, you might have to be a bit careful when it comes to handling this thing. Because just by holding this and shifting it around, I can feel like the plastic is being um, shifted. Um, because it's not fully joined. Um, it's not sealed like this. There's this line here between the two plastic pieces. I'm not sure whether you can see. So yeah, it can actually crack. So this is definitely a prop not meant for, uh, I would say, sword fights. <laughs> not like those lightsabers that you get from Star Wars. So yeah, all right, so let's pull this. Oops. Okay, so yeah, be careful when you pull it open. So I'm actually doing it with one hand. So apparently the plastic pieces for the stand dropped off. Uh, right, plastic nicely wrapped around the handle of the keyblade and including the chain. So I'm gonna pull this open. Alright, so the chain is pretty well designed in terms that there is really a plastic chain. Um, if probably cosplayers would want to repaint the item, you can actually I no you can't you can't actually unhook the chain. So oh there is no way for you to take this off so hmm probably if they will ever want if they ever want to recreate another key blade just for collection let me just get this off first all right so same thing for the head it's covered with plastic so if they ever really want to create another replica of a key blade they probably have to redo the entire thing uh, I thought maybe it would be pretty cool if you can actually switch out the keychains, you know, as a collectible item. Yeah, so like uh, you can have you can have the keychain removed, hang it on a wall, um, you know, dangling off a string or something, and then become a full collection. Uh, that would be pretty cool. But uh, apparently you can't remove the keychain, so that's kind of sad. So as you can see, the head of the keyblade. Um, is also another jointed portion uh, you can see the line here yeah so do be careful with it um, it is definitely not something that you go around swinging like a real sword um, while holding this thing and there's a button here there is a button here I'm not sure that you can see it there yeah so there's this button here that's where you trigger the the light effects and the sound I guess and maybe even the portion where the keyhole is uh, being out from the tip of the key yeah so yeah I'm not sure whether there's battery inside no there's no battery inside I guess I probably have to get batteries for this thing um, I probably have to check the manual as well on how to use this so yeah, so one-to-one -one scale keyblade uh, it is huge. Um, according to arm length, it's probably one arm length plus my shoulder. Uh, if you're wondering how tall I am, I'm probably one six uh, seven, one six five or one six seven. I really can't recall because the last time I actually measured my height was years ago. <laughs> All right, so this is the keyblade itself. Um, the details on the handle, the grip. Um, not exactly very a uh, very good material. All right, so you can actually remove this to reveal the battery portion of the keyblade. Then there is an on-off switch as well. 
So let's turn it on. Then from here, you probably should able to. Oh, there's no batteries. Oh, seriously, it doesn't come with batteries. So batteries not included, guys. Take note. <laughs> batteries not included. Okay. So that's pretty interesting. So I'm gonna pop this back in. So yeah. So overall, the quality of this keyblade. Um, in terms of size, definitely it fits the scale. But in terms of build and uh, durability, I would say this is definitely not so good for cosplay use. Um, it's definitely just a prop to be put at home, not a prop to be brought to conventions. Um, it will be definitely very cool if you can see one of these in an official cosplay event. Um, but I will pity the person who's using this as a prop for cosplay because um, if it accidentally gets damaged this is a very very expensive prop to replace um, this thing is going for about if I'm not wrong if uh, after conversion from Japanese yen to Singapore dollars it's about 240 Singapore dollars if you put it in the US dollars it's probably about 210 USD so this is a very expensive prop um, to have damaged and replaced so cosplayers do take note do not use this um, for any photo shoots or sword fighting scenes if you're ever planning on it uh, go and get a third party uh, keyblade that looks close enough to the actual thing uh, probably you might want to actually get a metal steel type keyblade uh, there are shops out there that actually sell um, imitation or maybe third-party keyblades that look similar to the actual official kingdom key so yeah let me get the stand settled all right so i'm gonna take out the stand so it comes with plastic as well i'm just gonna let everything flow on the floor okay i'm gonna pick up these on the floor as well Alright, so the stand with the Mickey Mouse logo and the Kingdom Hearts logo as well. So I'm just gonna pop this in. So easy. So there's two of them. So basically, this is what you get um, from side view, top, bottom. So I'm just gonna put this on the table. I'm gonna have it sit there. Um, you know, so I don't think I'll ever use this. To display the keyblade because I don't, literally do not have room uh, in my room I'm actually in the living room um, so yeah uh, I do not have room in my room to have the keyblade on the tape on the desk or table um, probably gonna find something to uh, have the keyblade hanging on the wall or something like that once I've like cleared off the room a bit so guys this is the one-to-one -one scale um, Poplica Keyblade by Square Enix um, I probably will try and get batteries uh, and show you guys how bright the light effects and the sound effects are um, in a moment so okay guys so I finally got batteries for this Keyblade um, it requires three AA batteries so as you can see I've opened up the socket I've really unscrewed the cap slotted the batteries in and of course we're gonna turn this thing on as you can hear yeah when you turn it on it actually makes a preparation sound uh, pretty cool the speaker for the keyblade is actually this part where the chain is attached so this entire round thing here is the speaker portion of the keyblade so how does it work basically well, there's only one button here, so you're going to have to press it. I'm going to move closer so that you guys can actually see it and hear it. So, um, activating spells on the keyblade is basically just like this. Or rather, well, that's the sound of the keyblade attacking So, As you can see, or hear, um, the sounds aren't exactly very, very clear and uh, in high quality. So... Uh, if you guys have ever bought any um, Japanese toys, uh, replicas of any maybe Kamen Rider series, you probably know that the sounds that the toys make 
um, aren't exactly the same as the ones on the TV shows or the games so they come close to it but not as high quality as those that you hear from the official um, videos or games they are from so as you can hear there we go so if I want to hold the button down that allows me to cast the spell that is if my keyblade is in a well a horizontal horizontal position yeah so we're gonna hold it down there we go I'm gonna let it go so that that was pretty much like I don't know um, each color is like a different spell so I'm not too sure what white is for but here we go we have cure so green and of course the next one fire followed by the next one poison So it's only this portion of the keyblade that is glowing, the rest of the keyblade doesn't glow. So let me just show you guys from a far view. And we have Light Thunder. Next one we have Blizzard. And I think that's pretty much it for the entire color. Alright, so I'm gonna show you guys the um, effect that the keyblade does when it shows the keyhole um, for the keyblade so first of all your keyblade has to be at a 45 degree angle you don't really have to hold it I mean of course it'd be cool if you're actually doing it um, you can't swing the keyblade around like Sora does whenever he seals a keyhole uh, this this keyblade is not light thanks to the mechanisms here um, there is some weight to the keyblade so I don't understand how Sora has the strength to swing a keyblade that's fully metal uh, considering that you know um, the keyblade is made of metal in Kingdom Hearts so it is a key so it's probably steel unless it's made of aluminium I don't think it's something that is easily swung around by a young boy <laughs> so anyways 45 degree down press and hold and you can see there is some glowing and animation sounds. So this basically is just prepping the keyblade to shine the keyhole. Alright, so from here I'm going to switch the camera angle to show you guys what the keyhole will look like. Okay, so basically like what I mentioned uh, earlier, um, you have to hold the keyblade at a 45 degree angle and press the button. So if you do not press it the second time um, there is a time limit that it will actually reset itself so as you can see the whole keyblade is resetted the white portion is not glowing anymore so we're gonna redo that again so 45 degree down hold the button there we go so it's charging all right if you really want to hear the full animation sound Okay, so from here, we're going to shine the keyblade. So press the button again. Do take note, I'm recording in bright daylight. There we go, so you can see how bright the light is for the keyhole. Um, I, know, I know it's not the best interpretation I can do. Of course, the further you go, the blurrer the, key blade, the keyhole will be. And of course, the keyblade automatically goes into the shutdown and or rather locking of the keyhole. There we go. So that's pretty much it what this Proplica keyblade can do. Um, for in terms of sound effects and actions, of course, pressing it gives you the attacking sound um, of the keyblade. I'm not sure whether the angles will actually cause different sounds, but it sounds the same to me. So <laughs> there is no swooshing or anything like that. What you see or hear um, that is familiar from the game itself. So pretty much, this is as what the name says. It is just a prop. Um, it is probably nothing more than that 
uh, rather than the nostalgic value of Kingdom Hearts. If you're a big Kingdom Hearts fan, this is definitely a must-have to pick up. But of course, if you're worried that it might get damaged or anything, then I think a third-party Keyblade might actually be more into your favour. Um, this, however, is an official Keyblade released by uh, Square Enix and Bandai. So, thank you guys, Bandai and uh, Tamashii Nations. Sadly, this is not a given product <laughs> by them. This is a product that I've literally um, used my own money to buy for myself. So, yeah. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching as always. And if you like what you see and hear, do hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification icon just in case if you ever want to see more um, content such as this. Uh, I do know that the, my content for Kingdom Hearts is lacking recently because I've been full diving myself into Macross. Um, but no worries, I will get back to it uh, sooner or later, uh, especially with the recording of 2.8 before Kingdom Hearts 3 is released. So until then guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!